So today I'm going to be talking about the eBags Motherload Weekender Junior. This is the smaller of the two backpacks. I recently took it on a two week trip to Thailand, so I wanted to give my review of how the bag actually was on a trip. It's a pretty good sized bag. There's a lot of zippers, a lot of compartments, and a section for just about anything you could want. So just on the outside of the bag, there's a couple different handles, um, one on the front, on the top, and on both sides. So it's really easy to grab the bag out of a overhead compartment, for example. There's a little pocket in the front here and a bigger pocket, which actually opens up to a lot more pockets. So when I was in Thailand, I actually used this front pocket as a snack pocket. So all of our granola bars, um, delicious snacks, they went right in here. This top pocket was where I put my cell phone, my cords for my phone and the camera. Um, anything that I needed to grab quickly, like my passport, I found it really useful to put in this top pocket here. Uh, this pocket in the front actually opens up to a bigger pocket and that was kind of just my miscellaneous items pocket. So small things like I had hand sanitizer, so I put that in there. Um, there's a couple different pockets going on in there, so there would be a good place for money, but it's really big, so you could actually put your whole arm in here almost. Let's try and see if we can do it. It doesn't look that deep, but once you start putting stuff in here, I stuffed clothes in here, but you could put anything that you want. I was shocked by how deep this front pocket actually is. You don't think a front pocket's gonna be that big, but once I started opening it up and I realized I could actually fit a lot of stuff in here. Inside this zip pocket, there's actually, guess what, more pockets. So you can unzip the top one. Um, it goes pretty deep down in here as well. This little handy one for coins or cash. So in this bag, there's seriously just a lot of different pockets. So if you're the kind of person that likes to have your pens in one pocket, hand sanitizer in the other, passport in the other, this is the right bag for you. This top pocket here also goes really deep. So it you can either stuff this section full and push it up, or you can take this pocket and push it down. So I chose to push it down. So this fit things like my phone really, really well. So I kind of just shoved my phone in here. Fits perfectly. One of the things I didn't like about this bag was that there's a water bottle pocket that's pretty floppy because it's just a little fabric pocket. It's cool that it's on here, but when I actually tried to use it and the water was more than half full, it just went like this. So let me show you the floppy pocket. So you can see here how you can fit a good size water bottle in here and it cinches so it fits the bottle perfectly. But once you put something heavy in here and you're walking more than one mile an hour, it just goes like this. So that got old really fast. I unfortunately did not use the water bottle pocket that often for this reason. I ended up just throwing it in one of the many, many other pockets, which worked out fine. So overpackers, we got to stick together, right? If you overpack and you have too much stuff in here, the cool thing is you can actually strap it down. So you'll see that there's straps on both sides. So you got straps here and straps back here as well. So you can actually stuff that down a little bit more. Um, works really well, especially if you have like clothes, things that are easy to squish. But you can use this as a carry-on and put it in the overhead bin. I don't typically like to put my bag in the overhead bin because I just want to have everything at the seat with me, especially on a long flight. Our flight to Thailand was 16 hours, so I wanted to have all my stuff. And what I quickly realized once I got on the plane was that this bag doesn't fit under the seat. So I, I tried to shove it under the seat and it just, it wouldn't fit. Let me show you how big the main compartment is. This is where you're going to be putting all your big stuff. I put things like my neck pillow, my headphones. Um, I brought a change of clothes on the plane, which you should always do. This is where I put most of my stuff. And this is the part of this backpack that makes it a great weekender backpack as well. If you're just going on a quick trip. There's a big zip pocket. This is really good for clothes. You can kind of just throw anything in here and zip it up. This is where you're going to want to put all your stuff. When we went to Thailand, we came back with a lot of elephant pants. I put a lot of the elephant pants in here. There's some straps to tie it down. This little zip pocket is good for things you don't want loose in the, in the bag. There's also a little divider in the middle here. So you can divide your clothes up a little bit better, keep it a little more organized. This also would work really well with packing cubes. I didn't use it for this trip, but you could use this with packing cubes pretty easily. There's so many zippers and pockets in this bag that I actually forgot about this one. This is where you could put a laptop. I ended up putting a calendar that we got in Thailand back here and it made it all the way from Thailand to California because it stayed so flat 
is a good place for flat things like a laptop, calendar, books, magazine, that kind of thing. Anything you don't want to bend, I would recommend putting in this back pocket. So you'll see in the back here that this is actually where the straps go. You can hide these away when you don't want them. These straps are actually very comfortable. You can see there's mesh here so you won't get sweaty. Um, really good on my back. I have a bad back so I was really happy that these straps were so good and comfortable. There's also a waist strap. I didn't use that too much. If you were walking a long distance you'd probably want to use the waist strap. There's a chest strap as well. So this is good if you have a lot of stuff in this bag, which I did. You want to make sure that you use all the straps to help give you a little bit more stability and make it a little bit easier on your back. There's a lot of different handles on this bag to help you carry it around even easier. There's also a strap that comes with this that would make into a messenger bag. So you'd put that strap up here and you could carry it on your shoulder just to make it a little bit easier if you don't want to use the backpack straps. Overall, I really liked having this bag. I was disappointed with the water bottle holder and I wish it was a little bit smaller just so it could fit under the seat on the plane. Just be aware that if you're bringing this bag, you might want to bring a smaller bag of things you actually want on the plane just because this might take up too much room. Overall, it's a really great bag. I really love the color. This is brushed indigo. I'm really happy that I picked it. I think the color looks really classy, not too a uh, high school kid. This can make a great travel bag either for a weekend trip or a long flight. I definitely recommend this one. It's the eBags brand, so it goes on sale pretty often, and it's a great choice. I'll leave a link to this bag in the description below so you can check it out, but overall, really great bag. Something that I will be taking on a lot of future weekend trips, uh, big flights, I'll probably take this bag rather than my tiny little Jansport backpack. I highly recommend it. eBags Motherload Weekender Junior.